Hi there, it's Victoria here, and I'm super pumped to have you join me in our bedtime story haven. Before we jump into the magical world of dreams, let's make sure you're all set. Grab your comfy spot, toss that phone aside, and take a moment to unwind. Shut those eyes, take a deep breath, and let it out nice and slow. Picture that soothing air flowing through wiping away any stress, and gearing you up for a night of sweet dreams. Now that you're cozied up, let's shake off the day's worries. This time is just for you to chill and let the stories work their magic. Feeling good? Awesome. Let's soak in the tranquility as we gear up for some dreamy tales. One more deep breath, let it out, and let the outside world fade away. Ready? Fantastic. The journey into the dream realm begins. Shut those eyes, relax, and let the gentle whispers of sleep take over. Here's to some seriously sweet dreams, friends. Now, let's dive into our stories and make this night extra special. Today, we will be reading Virago, her story. Chapter one, my family. Willow, an ordinary girl in an ordinary world, found herself at the epicenter of a family saga that was anything but ordinary. Her story didn't begin with the usual charm of fairy tales. Instead, it started on a chilly night with a storm brewing within the walls of her home. Once upon a time, her parents were inseparable, but the moment Willow entered the picture, their love story took a sharp turn. The joy of her birth was overshadowed by an inexplicable tension that clung to the air like a heavy mist. As the days turned into nights, the once harmonious notes of her parents' love song morphed into a dissonant melody of arguments and bitter silences. The house, once filled with laughter, became a battleground for emotions too complex for Willow to understand. Then came the day her dad walked out, leaving behind a void that would cast a long shadow over their lives. It was a turning point that marked the beginning of the storm. And in the aftermath, her mother, grappling with the pain of abandonment, found solace in an all too convenient scapegoat, Willow. Blame was cast upon the innocent shoulders of a child too young to comprehend the complexities of adult relationships. Willow became the vessel for her mother's resentment, a living reminder of a love that had crumbled. The once clear lines between love and bitterness blurred, leaving Willow to navigate a sea of emotions that threatened to engulf her. In this ordinary life, with its unexpected storms, Willow faced the challenge of growing up in the aftermath of her family's collapse. Little did she know that the chaos of her beginnings would shape her into someone resilient, a virago in the making, ready to face the challenges life had in store for her. The echoes of her parents' love story lingered, but Willow was determined to rewrite the narrative and discover her own path in the tumultuous journey ahead. Willow's house was like a backdrop to the chaos in her life. It wasn't a big fancy place, just a regular home where everyday struggles played out in every room. One thing that stood out though was Willow's piano. For her, playing the piano wasn't just a hobby. It was like a secret getaway from all the mess around her. The soft music helped her forget the arguments and find a bit of peace. But, you know, life isn't always a smooth melody. Whenever Willow's fingers danced on the piano keys, her mom didn't see it as a beautiful tune. Instead, it felt like an annoyance, a constant reminder of the storm inside their house. More than once, the piano faced her mom's frustration, ending up broken silent. Then came Willow's birthday. Little did she know, 
her dad had secretly bought her a new piano. A quiet way of saying, I know life's tough, and this is your escape. But when her mom found out, it was like fireworks on a rainy day. The arguing between her parents got louder, and Willow, stuck in her room, felt like the walls were closing in. Trying to block out the noise, she switched on the TV and let the mindless chatter drown out the storm in the other room. There she sat, eyes fixed on the flickering TV screen as the voices of her arguing parents echoed in the background. The piano, which was supposed to be a gift of joy, became a source of more family drama. In her room, tears rolling down her cheeks, Willow clung to the TV, escaping the reality outside as the arguing continued. The echoes of her parents' discontent formed the backdrop to her silent tears. And in that moment, the girl who sought solace in melodies found herself drowning in the dissonance of her family's struggles. Ah, do you hear that? The soft, gentle hum of sleep embracing the night. If you're already drifting off, I wish you the sweetest of dreams. But if you're still with me, let's linger a bit longer in this tranquil space. Stay here with me a while. Let the sleep sounds wrap around you a bit more. There's something truly magical about the stillness of the night. So, if you haven't found your way to dreamland just yet, let's enjoy a bit more of these soothing sleep sounds together. <laughs> 